Oh hi, it's Alpine Pen Ending, walking you back to Let's Play A Very Attorney. We're continuing through chapter to three. Let's continue. Act three, which, uh, yeah, we're still going through a lot of shit. Now, as we might kind of remember from last time, we were told that on next Friday, we need to go to a certain place. For now, we're Sunday, so we have other stuff to work with, so right. let's go. Let's go to the la, 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 la. Yes, the hospital. Right. La Salpetriere. There he is, Sparrow Sun. Go ahead, say what you need to say. Oops, I had the wrong. I don't want to look at my evidence. Um, uh, excuse me, Dr. Falrat. Just wanted to thank you for, you know, giving me an antidote and, uh, making me well and stuff. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, Sparrowson, wasn't it? Of course, there is a the small matter of the debt. Of course. Right. Let's see. One hospital bed, one dose of specialized antidote, expert medical care from the attending physician. The total comes to 500 francs. Uh, 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 okay. Can I get an advance on this month's pay, and next month, and maybe the months afters? Calm down, Sparrow Son. I'm sure the, the doctor is a reasonable man. He will surely allow you to pay in installments. Of course, of course. Oh, thank goodness. With my current wages, I should be able to fully pay off the debt by the 20th century. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to live at all. Hey, your pay isn't that bad. No, no, there's no need for quibbling. I have a suggestion. You miss his lawyer, yes? If you do some pro bono work for me, I may be able to knock the bill down a little. Maybe to say... 100 for. Oh, that sounds much more manageable. What kind of legal work do you have in mind? Debt collection. <laughs> sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds quite fun. It'll be a nice change from this croque monsieur nonsense. Yes, it was the details, doctor. There's a man I treated for a small injury a couple of years ago. He's been evading my attempts at collecting on his bill ever since. I wouldn't normally pursue medical bills so aggressively, but I know that the man is a successful inventor. He can easily afford to front the bill. I would greatly appreciate it if you pay him a visit and strong arm him into loosening his purse strings. <laughs> any promises, but maybe we can swing by the inventor's house if we have for a free minute. Thanks, Falcon. And thank you, Doctor. We will dedicate every waking moment to collecting this debt. Wait, I didn't agree to that. Every waking moment. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> yeah, if you chose the other option, it w you would agree anyways. Pretty sure, yeah. yeah. As it says here. All right. Now, does it mention to actually go there or? No, we're fo I'm following the guide, so we're going to the. Sh actually, yeah, the inventor. Yeah. So that's a yish. Oh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> nice. You can voice this, this guy. <laughs> Come in. Are you? Are you Monsieur? Good star. Hmm. Well, let's be honest here, let's be lawyers. Uh, we're lawyers, send on behalf of Dr. Valorat. We're here to collect the debt that you owe. You're Time to pay up, monsieur! Oh, my dear, I completely forgot about that. Listen, we'll be happy to pay, but it looks like I don't have enough money on hand. 
I know. I have a brand new invention that will blow the doctor's socks off. It's a device that will completely revolutionize the surgical field. I imagine the doctor would prefer hard catch over some gadget. No, no, trust me. This baby will easily be worth 10,000, no, 100,000 francs. The doctor will love it. <sighs> Alright then. Hand the device over and I'll pass that along to Dr. Farley straight away. Well, it's not that simple. The device isn't finished. It's not finished! I know exactly what it needs to be done, but I'm missing some crucial parts. Perhaps if you have some time to spare, could you help me out? Run out and collect what I need. What? No, Mojo, that's absurd. If you have something to do, then you should do it yourself. <laughs> Pocket, please help the man. Can't spend the rest of my life in death. All right, all right. I need to get all panicky here. I'll hear the man out, at least. Great, I'll take notes. What is it that you need most? Of? Let's see. I need a copper pot. A pot, as in like a saucepan, but on earth form. It's a necessary component of my invention. I can use it to build a portable electric battery. You see, when a zinc rod is suspended in sulfuric acid accompanied by the copper surface, a current is generated. <clears throat> Save me your scientific mumbo jumbo. One metal pot should be trivial to acquire. One copper pot. Oh, the copper part is a part. Okay, one copper pot. I wonder where I could find one of those. I've seen copper kettles at the old market, although don't things aren't too cheap. Can't help but feel that I saw a copper pot somewhere else. Mm, well, uh, stream. I great stream to bind some components of the device together. Mm, seems simple well enough. I, I imagine the house market would have that in abundance. Can we really afford to blow our whole budget at the market, Falcon? Surely there's a cheaper way to acquire string. Look, I have a loose thread <laughs> on my jacket. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that can work. The string must be higher quality than that. Mojo, I need something that's fishing my grade. Oh, I see. Is there anything else that you wanted, Mojo? Some books? Confectionaries? Alcohol? Groceries, perhaps? No, no. That's everything. Alright? Okay. Alright, I've got it all right and now. Charming list has been empty to have in its folder. I feel a little calm. We came here to collect on a debt and left for the shopping list. I'm going to follow through and get Monsieur Trouvé's items, right? We'll see. Jesus Christ, we're on a fucking errand spree. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the, um... The, uh... <laughs> item collection part of this. Right. And it's actually important that you complete this. Right. Surprisingly enough. Chocolate Emporium. Yes, I'm actually supposed to go here. Uh huh. Hello, friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it's you two again. Remember us? Yes, that's no surprise. Of course I remember. You're the monsieur who asked many questions and buy a little chocolate. Thanks for being patient with us. Huh. Uh, let's, uh, may I have a. Uh... Pretty sure you can just ask about everything here. Yeah, you're right. Have you heard any rumors of rebellion in Paris recently? Why, monsieur? No, always rumors of rebellion in Paris. The citizen whisper in the shadows. The bourgeois cower in fear. Personally, heard anything specific? No, Monsieur. Mm. Have you heard of the Croque Monsieur? They all sell chocolate to a lot of people. Have you come across any uh, unsavory characters in your occupation? Of course. One time, I was hiking through the mountains of the Netherlands, and I was accosted by an overzealous tulip salesman. I threw a fistful of Dutch rubles at him and made a nasty retreat. Can't help but wonder about the legitimacy of Lander's stories. 
but for some reason, his tangential rants don't bother me. Let me be more specific. I'm looking for a person named that croaked from sure. Does that name sound familiar? No, monsieur. That's all. <laughs> I suppose we're done here. I guess it was a little silly of me to look for intel about a rebellion in a chocolate shop. Perhaps I could help you with something else, monsieur. Like what? Well, you may have noticed that this is, in fact, a chocolate shop. I'm of much better service as a chocolate salesman than a rumor monger. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> may I have a chocolate recommendation? I'm looking to buy a box of chocolates for a friend. May I have a recommendation? Could this be? Am I a friend, Falcon? <laughs> is, is this a gift for me? <laughs> is this? Certainly, monsieur. If you are looking for something romantic, then perhaps an elegant heart-shaped selection from Tuscany would suit you. Romantic to say. <laughs> I... I don't feel that way about you, Falcon. But how could I name clients so much strumptious gifts? anything with food, you will eat. Sparrow said. No, that won't work. <laughs> Do you have anything that would be suitable? Oh, then perhaps you want this book of 20 creamy chocolate swirls from London. They are very sweet. Nobody can resist. Hmm. Yes, that's <laughs> perfect. Take that, Falcon. Take them, 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 take them. Yeah, but he says it so fast, so. <laughs> No reason! They cut it out. It is weird. I think those won't work nicely. Monsieur Huxley, how much did they make? Boy, bro, perhaps a little steep for some, but I assure you that the quality more than justifies the price tag. Uh, <laughs> Pretty sure you need to take them. Can I get a discount? Can I get a good guy discount? You know. Being such an upstanding <laughs> citizen. Hmm. I really shouldn't, monsieur. I understand. Oh, huh, just kidding. Of course you can. Oh, but I could give <laughs> you this for free as a token of Belgian generosity. Really? Of course, because you are such wonderful customers. We are? Absolutely. One moment, if you please, monsieur. I shall go wrap these up. Falcon! What is it? I just want to say, you've been a great friend and an inspirational mentor. I have an pull amount of respect for you as a person and... You know, you do know that these chocolates aren't for you, right? Oh. <laughs> and that sad music plays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Good, just making sure. My own fucking. You're breaking my balls, Falcon. God damn it. <laughs> Here you are, monsieur. I am sure the recipient will enjoy them. Wait, the burnt out balls? A box of chocolates have been in it to use evidence folder. Thank you very much, monsieur. And thank you for putting off with our endless questions. <laughs> it has been my pleasure, monsieur. <laughs> You're breaking my balls, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Art. It's let's... Wednesday. Wednesday. I was about to mention this. All right. Oops. What the hell? What the? Hell? I wasn't pointing there. I wanted to go here, the bridge. <laughs> to the bridge. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird sequence if I remember right. Right. Oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't the rude lawyer. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Fisherman. You know, you own me, big guy. Yep, my fishing line snapped when I dragged you out of the water the other day. I had to buy a new reel. So the way I see it, you owe me two frosts for the fishing line, and one million frosts for saving your life. <laughs> two, two francs is fine, but the million thing? Eh, nah. I don't have one million in 
two francs. Really? But you know so much wrong. Alright, I'll tell you what. Two for for the line, and we'll call it even. That's much better. Yeah. I don't when you squat. <laughs> I think you have to pay you? I'm not I, sure. Honestly, I... honestly, what the thing is saying, any choice, so you don't have to pay him, squat. Oh my <laughs> god. Or you can be a nice guy and say, fine. You be a... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Up to you if you want Falcon to be a nice guy or not, I guess. Fine. <laughs> Fine, here's two francs. Consider it as a gift of gratitude for saving my life. Mark strikes first here. Now, why are you here? Why are we here? Alright. We have some questions. Uh, how's the fishing? <laughs> so, caught anything good? Today, not a kipper. This new fishing line is really good, but I've run out of good bait, so it's practically useless by itself. Current's quite an issue. Hey Falcon, do you think that fishing line would work as the high grade string Monsieur Trouvé wanted? It... just might. Say, Monsieur King, did you earn cash in me? Would it be possible for us to take that new fishing line off your hands? Sure, what's it work? Did we already go over this fishing line payment business? Yeah, but that was compensation for the old fishing line. If you want to buy this new line, that's a whole separate matter. Also, I saved your life, remember? And I was polite enough not to rub that in your f fact in your face. March. <sighs> fine, fine. So how much did the new line cost? Ten francs. There's no way that line cost ten francs. You're right, cost one. But I added a little markup. That's some scene. Hmm, I guess it is a bit. Uh, tell you what, if you can provide me with some killer bait, I'll give you the line for free. Killer bait? Like... worms? Sure, worms, sweets, whatever. So I will be. Do you have some bait, or do you just want to pay me the cash? <laughs> I have cash. Uh, Actually, I'm... I think you can do I have bait. Yes. <laughs> if I remember the sequence we right. Don't, we don't have words, but we do have sweets. <laughs> he mentioned sweets, so you know what this means. Yes. I think I have some bait that you can use, Monsieur. This is gonna break Sparrow Sun's heart. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wait, uh, can you still go back in the evidence? I just want to read the description of that <laughs> before it's gone. A box of irresistible creamy chocolate swirls. Sparrow Sun can <laughs> barely contain himself around. <laughs> <laughs> Are these crunchy chocolate? Wow, yeah, this would definitely work. <laughs> okay, so I'll just take these chocolates off your hands. And then I'll give you my fishing line. And the deal made. Well, we did get it for free, so... Fishing line has been added to you for this folder. Wait, hold on. Hi, <laughs> fishing bait, but no fishing line. I did not think this is real true. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> oh well, can I help you with something else? Oh, I see. Uh, actually, this is... We don't ask him anything more. This is it. That's it. We're done here. I think we're done here. Happy fishing, Muscle. I miss you, fisherman. <laughs> hey, you know I had been called that. <laughs> the running gag. <laughs> Alright, so where to next? Uh, let's see. Are we going to... Palace uh, it's Lua. Thursday, okay, it's not yet. We're going to the Palais. <laughs> We're going to the Louvre. Excuse me, madame. Do you have a moment to talk about the cult of reason? <laughs> oh, you're being a mid scheme to someone else, but I've got a kid to feed. Madame, it's time for Indian scheme. Madame, <laughs> make a leaflet at least. Well, what about you, monsieur? 
You like to learn about the glorious teaching of Jacques Hiver? Yeah, a cult is it? Not today, monsieur. I've already been in my fair share of cults. But this cult is different. <sighs> Remember the cult of reason, huh? Strange. I thought that cult died out way back in the old revolution. Hey, fuck it. That person. He looks like a run of a mill cultist. You can see that? But doesn't his face look familiar to you? Very familiar. He does look familiar, actually. The resemblance is uncanny. Shall we get his intention? Uh oh, he spotted us. Mmm. Uh... <laughs> and he's, he's ran off. And he's gone. <laughs> Wait, what's up? We like a quick word. I'm back! He turns about the wonders of the cult of reason. Uh, he's gone. So I'm not going crazy, right? Agar was a splitting image of Judge Romulus, wasn't he? Can't deny the similarity, but then again, there are plenty of wolves in Perry. And maybe there's no link at all. Either way, we have an investigation to conduct, so let's focus on that. Right, where to first? Uh, the Grand Gallery. Let's see. Who to question? Who to question? Oh dear, oh dear. It's these guys again. Keep it together, Eric. Maybe they won't recognize you. Excuse me, Mojo. It's us. The Philistine. Remember? Were they talking to me? Yep, definitely talking to me. Okay, deep breaths, Eric. Hi! We have a couple of questions if it's no trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. No trouble at all. Alright, uh, question, 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 uh, let's, uh, let's, do you know about an uprising? Do you know anything about an uprising? An uprising? You know, people getting angry, being violent, overthrowing the government, stuff like that. Goodness, no, I don't know anything about that sort of thing. Gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're I mean, he is an hedgehog. Yeah, but you're not blue. The cultist? You mean the cult of reason, fellow? Uh, yeah. Yeah, cause he accosted me a few days ago. We chatted for a while, not by choice, of course, but because I didn't know how to get out of the conversation. It got a little out of hand. It isn't. It insisted I think a plan for that. You're not even reading the line. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> and he even added his own signature. See? At the bottom there? Blah, 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 blah. Into my new best bud, Eric. Happy reading. Best witches, Sylvia's. Greening, too. What a fiendish color choice. That guy was such a slime ball. We weren't even close to bestest buddies. Why are people wearing green ink? Culture's name, Sylvius. Do we mind if we keep this pamphlet, Monsieur? Be my guest. I don't want it. Something called God has been added to your evidence book. Did you want something else? I'm not giving you my drink of water. <laughs> that is all. Thank you for your time, Monsieur. You have been a great help. It's no trouble. No trouble at all. Uh. That's, uh. This is a room they investigated during the Poison Rose case, right? Why are we back here? I can't help but feel like I saw something here a couple weeks ago. Something that may be useful to us. Really? Alright, let's take a look around. The vase, actually. This urn. I remember it. It's the one that smelled of chocolate. Yes, but more importantly, it's made of copper. Why is that important? Oh, I see! You're taking a Monsieur Trouvé's request. He wanted a copper pot, didn't he? This would do nicely. But... But this is a museum piece. We couldn't just take it. Could we? Couldn't we? I don't know. Could we? <laughs> we could. But we couldn't. 
Um, as the guy would say, you can buy a cover paper, you have to pay 30 francs for it. Yes. So let's take it. So this. <laughs> we could. Well, actually, he did say one thing. <laughs> we could. You wanted to be a museum robber, right? Or something? It's been my lifelong dream. <laughs> Marvelous, but they earned under your coat. That's not going to fit under my coat. You're already weirdly shaped. No one will see anything out of the ordinary. Hey! Copper urn has been sneakily added to your events. <laughs> That's rude! This is exciting. What else shall we steal? Nothing. We're going to leave before we draw suspicion. How about a painting? Just a small one that no one will care about. Like the Mona Lisa! <laughs> Let's steal the fucking Mona Lisa! No. no! No one cares a little about the Mona Lisa. It's a famous painting. Let's not. Select an area to examine. You so can... I'm pretty sure you can actually press the X, except if you want to actually examine everything else for fun and profit. <laughs> fun and profit. Columns! These could be useful if we feel like recreating famous moments of Roman history. I'll be Brutus, you be Caesar. <laughs> Why do I have to be Caesar? Actually, never mind that. Why are we acting on Roman history? We have a job to do. Is this thing useful? The giant door step? No, but I'll keep it in mind in case we encounter any giant doors. Some of these places look like a suitable size, but I think they're made of bronze. That's no good. Hmm. This wouldn't do. It looks like it's made of iron, and it wouldn't be too heavy to move anyway. Ironic. That's not. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, God, what do you got? Son of a bitch. How ironic! You ass. <laughs> Even if this column were useful, I can't imagine what we could take it with us. <laughs> Alright, right, I'm pretty sure that's a reclickable item. We're done here, for now at least. Can't spend all day robbing Roman artifact, I suppose. So, where to next? <laughs> actually, I'm not sure if you actually need to go to the garden, so... so I, no, I think we're done, actually. We're done. Alright, so, please you can set. We got what we needed. We got what we need! Are we all done here? Yep, let's go. Yep, let's make a move. Good call. Can always come back later if we forgot it something. And it's Friday. It's Friday, Friday. No, no, not that type of Friday. <laughs> but now I'm pretty sure the guide will guide you to Rue des Marmousses. Yes. You're absolutely right. Oh. That him? It must be. Excuse me, monsieur. I don't recognize you fellows. What's the password? The password? Uh. Um, this is the bottom one. Dumb. Oh, I took you fellas for bird brain cops, but you actually know the secret password. So what do you want? Oh, let's start with the introductions. You are croc, monsieur, are you not? That's the croc, monsieur, to you. Mon dieu, people always get the pronunciation wrong. Not really hearing the difference. In any case, monsieur croc. Monsieur, my name is... Don't tell me, you idiot. Bringing up names can mess up an entire meeting. Why do you think I use an Elias? Just tell me what you want. Drugs, guns, explosive, slaves. Come on, <laughs> I don't have all day. Well, to be honest, all I, what I really want is... A cheap gun, I want to buy a lot of them. <laughs> Fix the gun, what have you got? Information, tell me about the rep. Actually, you could choose any option here. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, information. I know you've been supplying weapons to a rebel crew. I want to know everything who they were, who they are, where are they meeting, what they brought from you. Huh. If I sold on my customer, it wouldn't be good for my reputation now, would it? I suppose that's true. Just kidding. Money beats integrity any day. Pay me 500 francs, and I give you the dirt. 500 francs for information? That seems a little steep. Steep? 
this intel is probably worth 50,000 francs to the Parisian police. I'm giving you a bargain. Listen, you pay me the full 500 right now, and I'll tell you exactly where and when you can find when and where you can find the rebels. <laughs> Do you take checks? <laughs> I thought uh, fake this option matters. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, to be honest, I don't really have that kind of cash ready to hand over right here, right? I know. That's quite all right. We can do all stallments. All those 50 francs a month at 10,000% APR sound. Jeez. Wow, wow, wow. Sweet merde, it's the fuss. Cheese it. Wait, wait, Monsieur Croc, Monsieur, come back. Never fear, Falcon. I'll tell the dastardly fellow. Don't get too close, Sparrow Son. That crocodile's got a gun. Oh. What's those this ruckus? Playing cops and robbers on we, JJ? Are you blind, Sovereign? That was the croak, Monsieur. We're on the croaks of extracting some vital information about the rebels, but your smug entrance just ruined everything. Hmm? That was the croak, monsieur? I never would have guessed. You don't sound very concerned. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm quite impressed that you managed to track down such an elusive criminal. But I have something much more pressing that I need to discuss with you. More pressing than finding the rebels? Hmm, perhaps. JJ, I want you to answer this question sincerely and honestly. Did you go by a different name prior to enrolling at Perry Law School? What? What does that have to do with re the rebel investigation? Or to do with anything for that matter? I would appreciate it if you just answered the question, JJ. I need to hear it from your own beak. Have you ever gone by a different name? <sighs> well, any option counts, but jeez. He's been asked that many and he's been ig ignoring that question. <laughs> I mean... Just say yes. I don't deny it. A man has a right to change his name. Indeed, a man does have that right. But why would a man do such a thing? I don't appreciate your accusatory tone. You sound just like an inspector for Larry. Wait, that's it, isn't it? The inspector ordered you to dig up some dirt on me, didn't he? Hmm. Answer me, Severin. What is going on? What did. Inspector Valority say. Mm. <laughs> Man, that croc can run. It appears that you two are making solid progress with their investigation into the rebel group. I'll be sure to let the inspector know. Where are you going? We haven't finished our discussion, Severin. We have. I've learned what I came here to find out. Good day, JJ. Good day, Sparrowson. What? What? <laughs> what was that about? It doesn't matter. Severin's just poking his beak where it doesn't belong. Yeah. Nosy. Lighter. So, tell me about your little adventure, Sparrowson. You lost a cruel monsieur, I take it. Yeah. He looks like a stumpy reptile. And <laughs> he can. He ran like a gazelle. I lost him, in no time at all. I see. Well, like, with the croc monsieur's lead gone, our investigation has reached a dead end. Not entirely. He dropped something during that chase. He dropped something? What exactly? I'll show you. Follow me. <laughs> I think you need to do some more exercise, Sparrowson. Don't judge me! Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. One jaw. What is it now? Muscle cramp? No, my foot's hurting. I think I got something in my shoe. Well, grit your beak and bear it. This is around where you saw the crocodile drop something, right? Yeah, somewhere around here. Well, let's put our investigation hats and find whatever it is. Alright, time for pixel launch. 
Does that street lamp look broken to you? Yep. They call the lamps on this stream have been vandalized. The ground is covered in glass from the broken panes. Oh, that explains why my foot is hurting. Uh, I was just about to say that. It does. There's glass in the sole of my shoe. I must have thrown on some shards while chasing after the cop, monsieur. Oh no! My good shoes are ruined! Well, I wouldn't say good. You paid 20 cents for them. File this away in the evidence folder. You want me to file this away the broken glass? Yep. I'm filing an official formal complaint to the government. Their faulty street lamp had ruined my shoe. I'm on compensation! I think government officials have better things to do than worry about your 20 cent shoes, Sparrowson. We'll just see about that. Glass shards have been added to your evidence folder. Are you satisfied? We have real evidence to find. Surprisingly, this is important evidence. <laughs> yeah, this. This is a thing that Cook Missy dropped. It's a list. 40 muskets. 20 pistols. Gunpowder. 3,000 musket balls. To be delivered to the sleeping city. This is an invoice, but I don't see I don't see any names on here. But given the contents and quantities, the goods are probably intended for the rebels. Excellent find, Sparrowson. Was nothing. But the sleeping city? Where could that be? Well, it's a city <laughs> that sleeps a lot, so somewhere in Spain would be my guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that location is not a literal city. For one thing, we already know the city where the rebels are gathering. It's right here, in Paris. Sleeping city is a code phrase, like a riddle. A riddle, hmm? Hmm. Mm. Things, things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm stumped, and hmm uh, is getting us nowhere. We must find someone who can solve it. We need a person who is knowledgeable about all matter of riddles and puzzles. I know it all, huh? Precisely. In the meantime, I'll follow this away for safekeeping. Pokemon Zero's invoice has been added to the evidence folder. Do you think the crunk junk anything else? Well, let's look around it and everything. Nose bar. All animals are welcome. Except mosquitoes. You bloodsuckers can go fix, get your fix someplace else. No, it feels pretty strongly about mosquitoes, huh? Well, he has a point. I'm not saying all mosquitoes are bloodsuckers, but. Well, Falcon, keep it classy. I'm just stating facts. The sign is difficult to read. The paint is faded. Trudel Frutia? There's no way it says that. You just made those words up. <laughs> All words are made up, Falcon. <sighs> God damn it. Oh. That empty cart. Someone has scrawled the word Descartes on it. The owner's name, perhaps? I don't think so, Falcon. See the graffiti on the wall behind you? This wall. Somebody thinks this funny. <sighs> things that will make Chugga Conroy smile. <laughs> I see hanging bushels of onions. Bushels? That can be right. It's sprigs. Sprigs of onions. Oh, bundles of onions. That's pretty neutral. Confederacies of onions. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Flux of onions. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Sparrow's on is great. <laughs> I fucking love Sparrow's on. He's my favorite character in this. <laughs> Broken street uh... Oh, yeah. Actually, we're done here. Yep. I think we're done here. Okay, I guess we can always come back if we think we forgot at something. Yeah. February 5th, Saturday. Oh, we have a special event. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Is it the room to your liking, madam, as well? Don't call me that. Oh, my apologies, madam. What were your 
your thoughts? Is the room suitable? It's dark, <laughs> cramped, and not more than a little macabre, but it will do. Excellent. I have hired private security to guard the entrance 24 hours a day. Rest assured, your weapons are safe. Hmm. Tell me, Friar, are we doing the right thing? Of course we are, madam. There cannot be a change without bloodshed. No revolution without revolution. Surely you're having any second thoughts. Of course not. I want nothing more than to serve justice to the corrupted rulers of this country. When the time comes... I'll be the one to pull the trigger. Ominous! <laughs> would, you, would, you be, would you be helping me to unload my bullets, madam? <laughs> First? Alright, I think this is a good point to actually do a quick cut. As we've done quite a bit, and uh, this is probably already a long episode by now. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, we're gonna stop here. Stay tuned for more as we do more investigation. Yep.